Students, in this lecture, we will have a shorter discussion on the classes of antiarrhythmic drugs. And among them, we will discuss the class one. Uh, basically, we know that these antiarrhythmic drugs are classified into five different classes. And among these classes, the fifth class is the class that is that include the agents with unknown mechanism. But the four prominent classes are the class one, two, three, and the four, which are abbreviated in Roman counting. The class one is the uh, class that contains the agents that will interfere or that will block the sodium channels. Further, this class is divided into three subdivisions, class one A, class one B, and the class one C. Then we have the class two agents. Mostly these agents are the beta blockers. So you can say these are the anti-sympathetic a sympathetic nervous system agents. Then we have class three that will include the agents that will basically interfere with the potassium efflux. Then we have class four that will affect the calcium channels and the AV node. Now coming towards our main topic that are the class one antiarrhythmic agents or the drugs. Basically, these are the agents or these are the drugs in the class which will act by blocking the sodium channels, more precisely the voltage sensitive sodium channels. Now, to which type of the channels these drugs will bind themselves, they can bind to open or the inactive sodium channels as well. So there is not any compulsion that they can only bind with the open channels or they will only bind with the closed channels. So they can bind with both the open and the inactivated sodium channels. Now, what are the major uh, drugs included in this category? The most prominent ones are the quinidine and the disopyramide. Then we have the lidocaine and then we have the maxidatine. Now, among them, when I talk about the quinidine, the quinidine and the disopyramide, then these are the drugs that have ability to block the sodium channels during their opening state, while in contrast or in comparison to this, these two drugs which are mentioned in the block that are lidocaine and the mexilitin. These drugs will block the channels which are in the inactive state. Now coming towards uh, more detail, uh, basically these sodium channel blockers have their declined use. Now they are not using so much because of their pro-arrhythmic effects. Now, what are the other groups? What are the other categories in this class? In this class one agents, in these class one drugs, we have further three groups that are basically uh, divided on their duration of um, cardiac action potential. And these are the class one A, class 1b and class 1c. Now, all these classes are definitely the sodium channel blockers. Now, what this class 1a is doing, this is actually slowing down the phase 0 depolarization in ventricular muscle fibers. How? Because these are the moderate sodium channel blockers and the examples of this include the quinidine. Then in class 1b, which is also sodium channel blocker, this is actually shortening the phase three repolarization in the ventricular muscle fibers. You can say this class B is actually the weak sodium channel blocker and the example include the lidocaine. Then we have the class 1C, which is also sodium channel blocker. It markedly slows the phase zero depolarization in the ventricular muscle fibers. And you can say this class 1C, this class 1C, which includes the Flecainide is actually the strong sodium channel blocker. So, students, this was all about uh, the class one antiarrhythmic drugs.